I came here super overwhelmed, facing a really, really challenging year, thinking I was alone. And I came out with, I'm not alone. So many of you are facing the same things I did. And like Sheldon mentioned, we overlap and we don't think we do from adult to youth. We really do overlap. And we overlap as educators, as consultants. We share experiences here and that is key, these shared experiences. And we have to transmit this to our students that they're sharing experiences also in their learning. And I think that's what the Ed Camp did for me. It was like, this is a way they can say, I don't know this or I need help with this and reach out to each other as well as just have me as a coach. And I picked up coach from one of you. Julie, thank you very much. I, I just want to say that I, I really don't believe in aha moments per se. I believe that everybody has the ability to have ideas brewing in their heads. And a lot of the things that I picked up on today have been brewing in my head for a long time. Um, you know, technology in the classroom and sometimes technology is forced on us. And how do we go from, you mentioned you couldn't touch a Mac. I didn't have any idea about a Mac when I was given one by my school. So the beginning of part of the day helped me a lot in thinking about how am I, how am I going to use technology in my classroom, but then also talking to you guys from the adult sector. Um, and, and you said it perfectly, where we're all the same. I actually have a student teacher who's been teaching in, this, in the adult sector for eight years, but she's only now getting her brevet. So she's my student teacher. I'm learning from her, she teaches physics to adults or, or you know, sometimes even children who want to go on uh, in Sejap. And so I've been learning, that idea has been brewing in my head that I'm learning a lot from Ms. Lynn and then talking to you guys, I was like, yeah, we're not, we're all teachers. We have to mold the future citizens and, and we, we're all willing to mold the future citizens, which is what we need to be. But I think the aha moment for me was um, listening to what a uh, Tracy student said about not feeling listened to and then having talked about and gone through the ed camp experience where it was all about our voice so I think it was putting that into perspective like oh yeah so here we are complaining about having um, PD from top down telling us what to do mine then we turn and then we tell top down to our students so I think that was the aha moment that oops so we have to stop and uh, pay attention save when we reflect on what we do so I'm suddenly feeling very nervous. Do I have to do this? No. Okay, tell me when to start. I think my aha moment was actually when you put the uh, link ed puzzle up, because um, every time I come to one of these things, my learning curve is pretty good with technology, but you guys here are always one step ahead of me. So I have a YouTube network that's growing, and Sheldon's been able to get some PD uh, grants, PDIG grants, to uh, work on it. So I'm using those days to build educational videos that get incorporated into their different topics. And they use it and so forth. But I wanted to take it to the next step. And I was just looking a bit at this Ed Puzzle, and it looks incredible. So I, I think there's going to be some good stuff coming out of that if I have the time and the resources. Show me the money. <laughs> So, oh, anyway. I just wrote one, uh, I just wrote one comment on my review of your workshop. Well, one was I thought it was one of the best that I've been to. I've been a lot of, a lot of receipts and I just, I just really like the flexible format. But the bigger one was that uh, through, you know, through this kind of collaborative discussion. I think the uh, unimaginable kind of things that couldn't be moved can be realized. And I mean, then it's about putting into action, maybe finding a way to get there. But at least now it's not impossible anymore. And that didn't come from high level of professional development top down. That came from bottom up, grassroots amongst each other. Uh, just because I think we respected one another enough to listen today. And that was the culture, that was the kind of the climate that was created. So, um, yeah, that's my aha. Uh -huh.